Yo, yo, it's your boy Trey uh, with Boas Abound um, back again for some more Boa Constrictor content. Um, I guess this week I'm, I'm feeling really good. I'm actually recording this video just a few short days after my reintroduction video, but I probably won't like edit it or put it together till the following week because I'll get burned out too fast if I try to release multiple videos during the week. But I'm doing what I said. I'm I'm energized. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm making new videos for y'all, new content for y'all. I'm getting a lot of great feedback. I've gotten text messages, emails, phone calls, comments on my social media account. So if y'all excited, I'm excited. So let's keep this, uh, this momentum going. Um, for this video, just more random boa constrictors. I don't have any rhyme or reason for this video. Just want to show some of my cool collection and, um, you know, just talk about some random things uh, in the boa community as well going along, so moving forward. Um, so with that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a bit parched. I didn't show the label of this. Everybody know what it is, but I didn't show the label of this because they ain't pay me. And if I'm talking about anybody or anything in my videos, I got to get paid. So they're not going to get no free advertisement. Oh, shoot, I'm, 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 I gotta cover this up too. No, I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, so in this video, uh, just more general boa constrictor talk um, and uh, cool snakes, bottom line. If you guys have suggestions about videos or if you wanna see any specific content, just hit me up. Let me know what you wanna hear. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Um, I'm also considering going live more often on my social media accounts. Um, that's actually more my speed than to sit down and just record videos, but I know it's all a part of the marketing game, you know, to put YouTube videos out. So here I am. With that said about marketing, a couple snakes in this video, a couple boas in this video will be for sale. Um, I need to do a better job of letting you guys know and identifying which animals are actually available. <clears throat> you could easily go to my Morph Market account. Link will be below we're not like on the screen below, but below in the description, um, a link to my Morph Market account and all my other social media accounts where you will find all available boa constrictors. So you never have to reach out to me directly and say, hey, well, you got this, you got that. If it's listed for sale, then it's available. It's that simple. As soon as something is sale or on hold, I update that on my Morph Market account. So once again, um, some of this video will be geared towards just general boas and my general collection and a few I'll sprinkle in that I actually have for sale. Um, and again, the link for that will be in the description below. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and I'll keep trying to push out content for y'all and keep this interesting, um, until I get bored or until I run out of stuff to talk about. So keep sending me ideas about what to talk about and we'll, uh, we'll keep the momentum. I appreciate y'all. So this is a breeder VPI snow glow male that I will be letting go soon. Um, I have a ton of visual VPI snow glow combos. Um, like I keep telling y'all, I'm really just trying to come up with some extra funds. So I ain't gotta come straight out of my pocket for more Spectre stuff. So that is where I'm at with this guy. Absolutely beautiful size reference. He is also eating large, um, smaller larges or larger mediums. Super cool temperament, handleable, just absolutely beautiful, man. The uh, epitome of VPI snow glow, which is uh, Annery one VPI and hypo. Here is an OG, triple OG <laughs> male. One of my older breeder males. He has a call Sun Glow Jungle Motley. Dripping in color. Digesting a big rat. Just beautiful. Pinks and reds and yellows and oranges. This reminds me of like Sherbert. Beautiful, beautiful. Nothing too fancy, but you always have to have some high-end call if you're working with call. Like, it's all 
what you put together, what you purchase and what you put together, and then you produce the best with the best with the best with the best. Pair them up, pair them up until you get stuff like this and better. So that's the goal. Always improve by building off of or standing on the shoulders of breeders before you. Take a little bit of each other's stuff, make each other's stuff better, keep the hobby going. So this dude is an absolute smoke show of a boa. I mean, just dripping in color. It's a little dry spot. I might've got bit by a rat or something. I mean, I, I don't even feed live often, but I got some live uh, recently. I think that's what that is from a shed. But, um, oh my goodness. This is a kabush, or however you pronounce it, pastel arabesque, albino arabesque. Um, my goodness, I love this snake. He is phenomenal. It looks like it's something else going in on there. Head blood, head leopard, I don't know, but the reds and this pastel are just re freaking ridiculous and it really does not the camera really does not pick up the color to be honest it just doesn't it does not do this snake any type of justice at all i'm trying to re adjust to see if the camera readjusts with the lighting it's terrible lighting down here but i mean i love him cannot wait to put him to work and again this is just a really really high end really high quality pastel Albino Arabesque. Call Albino Arabesque. He just got scared. Sorry, buddy. So pretty. Only gets better with age, too. Just... It's, it's that, that kabush, or however you pronounce it, it kind of works like coral. They get better when they get older. More pink, more red, more yellow. Just look at that thing. Jeez Louise. Smoke show. All right, that's enough of him. So this guy here is the patriarch to all my um, Central American fire stuff. This is a fire diamond motley, possible jungle. I think he's just motley. Um, had C-A-T plus or T positive. Beautiful. He sired many litters for me. Doing absolutely great. He's the perfect size. Um, he's eating medium rats been this size for I say three years now just absolutely perfect monster breeder couldn't ask for anything more out of this guy really pretty he's got that I call it snipey that snipey uh, Central American shaped head they're all different and if you you collect bow constrictors or if you have a, a decent amount um you know and have had uh you know experience with true red tails which are the Central American, I'm sorry, the South American, um, you know, Guyana or Suriname, whatever. And then you have the Central American like this. And then the um, most common in a pet trade, the Colombian, which is probably 98% of my collection and most people's collections that are dealing with morphs. They're all different. The tails might be thicker or skinnier or longer. The heads might be shorter and stouter. Um, they might be longer and wider. The snouts might be a bit different, but um, I love variation. But he is a very unique uh, looking boa in, in comparison to, my, to all my other boas because all my other boas, most of them are uh, Colombian. So y'all get a two for one on this video. This guy is freaking screaming. Uh, he is a... Um, motley arabesque sun glow call and he's the c most colorful freaking one that i've ever produced he, he's phenomenal he almost he, he looks better than some of my red dragons he looks better than some of my sun dragons i ain't even gonna lie um it's his litter mate um the albino version um let's, let's just look what hypo does she is a um albino motley arabesque and he is a Sunglow Molly Arabesque, and just look at the difference side by side. Absolutely ridiculous. But you need both, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes projects don't call for hypo, and sometimes they do. So that's why it's important to keep variations of, uh, you know, certain combinations and not just hoard all of the genes that you have in every litter. 
So beautiful. Man, I love that dude. So this is just a regular um, call Sunglo head anery female that I produced two years ago. And um, she's growing well. I don't really grow my my snakes super fast. Um, I'll probably move her up to mediums this season. She's on smalls. That's about right. You know, sometimes by now people have their two-year-old snakes to mediums and, and down there pushing larges. But for one, it's too expensive for me because I have so many snakes. For two, it's really not super, super healthy for your animal to uh, to be overfed um, because they're going to grow. They're going to grow regardless. These genes, genes play as big of a role in growth as, uh, as how often you feed them. I think the combination of the two are really important because I have some from her same litter um, that are almost twice as big as she is and I feed them the same schedule. I just had to bump the other ones up. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just something to keep in mind. But uh, this is again a call Sunglow Head Annery. Um, something that would always be a staple in my program. Um, sun glows, annery, snow glows, snows are all um, really, really good beginner to mid-level um, boa constrictors. And I think everybody should have them in their collection. So this is one of my favorite uh, 2020 productions. This is a sun glow jungle arabesque call sun glow jungle arabesque and there's some pastel stuff going on in here too i forget which uh pastel line but um so pretty he, he just gets better as he gets older um so gorgeous and uh i paired him up this year and he didn't seem interested at all definitely has the size um you see my hand for reference um but uh, he just didn't want to do anything. Or maybe the female wasn't ready. And uh, he just didn't try to court at all after about a month. So I pulled him in. Didn't want to miss a window with that female. So I tossed another male in. And um, she's actually grabbing now. So, But yeah, pretty, pretty. Definitely going to be a staple in my program. Um, if he ever decides he wants to breed, just... You know, stacking jeans with call, man. Call is the foundation of my call. Albino was the foundation of my program, so um, always, always gonna have that around. And um, you know, at, at all different price points, from beginner to to novice to to expert. So there he is. So this guy right here is a beautiful staple um, in my program. One of the first high dollar animals i um i purchased years and years ago um he is a fire jungle het bpi and he's produced gorge multiple gorgeous litters man i just i just love his look he's never ever going anywhere um he has sentimental value for my program for real because uh, he was one of the animals that took my program to a next level to the next level i should say and he also has like uh, the state of Ohio on his head. So that's really cool. Um, <laughs> uh, people keep asking me too, like, you know, do you name your snakes and blah, blah, blah. No, I have too many. They, they don't have names. It, that would be ridiculous for me to try to remember all my, my boa's names. Um, but if he, if he did have a name, it would be Buckeye. I'm just toss that out there. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, he's done for the season. He already knocked up his female. Um, so hopefully, um, I get some worlds first. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, all that good stuff. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is a breeder, Hypo Labyrinth, hit VPI male that I'm going to probably let go. Absolutely beautiful. This little dude laid it down this year and um, did a great job. Got one, maybe two females grab it. Um, and I actually have a <clears throat> couple others. So I don't really need them. And I actually could use the funds for my Spectre project. So I'm going to let him go, um, probably. Size reference, you see how big he is. He's eating um, like a smaller larges or larger small large. Smaller, largers, or larger mediums. Um, absolutely perfect in every way. It's beautiful. So, 
If you're interested in this guy, um, I'll probably put him up on Morph Market here soon. Let me know. So that was another random uh, edition of uh, Boa Constrictor Contact. Contact. Content from your boy Trey. Boas abound. Um, I probably should start wearing my merchandise, huh? That's probably like a smart thing to do. Um, product placement and whatnot. Um, but I'm starting to do these videos like right after I get out of the gym where I'm still like on a high, um, you know, to uh, to talk to you guys and be active because once I sit down and I and I and I clock out for the day, I'm done for the day. So um, <laughs> again, I hope you enjoyed this this uh, edition of Random Boa Constrictors. Um, click the link below in the description for all available Boa content. I'm sorry, all available Boas for sale on my Morph Market account. And uh, if you guys have any questions about particular animals that you're looking for, I'm gonna be honest. I have animals that I don't have for sale, that don't have a sale price, but I will sell them, if you know what I mean. But the price is gonna be uh, much higher than the market price because it's not for sale. It's not something that I'm actively trying to, um, you know, get rid of or, or put on the market. So with that said, if you do want information on um, you know, a particular animal that you're looking for that you do not see in the link below, hit me up. And if I have the genes, um, and it's within your budget and it's something that I, uh, might consider letting go, who knows? Price is right. Who knows? So hope y'all enjoyed that video until next time. Peace. It's boys over everything, baby. Remember that it's boys over everything.